From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Kara Sundlin with a few of today's top stories. Hartford Healthcare is opening another coronavirus testing site at Bradley International Airport and it's going to be located at lot three of Bradley International Airport, of course in Windsor Locks. The site will be open to the public, not just travelers. It is set to open Monday. Today, uh, announcing a second testing site here at Bradley is a logical next step for us because it's been so uh, popular here at the airport. And opening this center next Monday, the 23rd, doing it in advance of Thanksgiving is a critical need that we're helping meet across the state of Connecticut. Inside the airport will be open. Bradley Airport says about 300 passengers per day take those tests. Pfizer now says its coronavirus vaccine is 95% effective with no safety concerns, and that comes in a final analysis of phase three trials. Pfizer will now file for emergency authorization for the vaccine with the FDA on Friday. Students at the University of Connecticut will be able to get tested for COVID-19 when they come back on campus for the spring semester. This morning, the school's board of trustees voted to extend contracts with three medical service providers to continue the testing through the spring semester. The board says the self-administered COVID tests have been very successful in the fall semester. A man in his 20s was shot and killed in New Haven last night. It happened in a home on Grace Street between Rock and State Streets in the Cedar Hill neighborhood. He was rushed to the hospital but did not make it. There was no word yet on a suspect right now. All right, despite a lot of sunshine this afternoon, temperatures feeling more like winter, topping out in the mid and upper 30s. The wind will make it feel more like the upper teens and low and mid 20s. And we've got a clear sky not only this afternoon, but also through the overnight hours with a diminishing wind tonight. That will allow temps to drop into the mid and upper teens inland, 20 to 25 along the shoreline, perhaps even cold enough to get into record territory. The one for, for Hartford that stands at 12 degrees from 1924 will likely stand. The one for Bridgeport of 23 could be in jeopardy. Then a warming trend gets underway. Mid 40s by tomorrow afternoon. Friday, we end the week 55 to 60. The upcoming weekend features highs in the 50s, morning lows in the 30s. Our next chance of rain doesn't arrive until Monday of next week. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.